Hey everybody, this is Piranha 6 coming to you from my downtown condo man cave. And I've got a few modifications to let you guys know about. Nothing major, but a lot of little changes. So I figure it's time to do another update video. So let me show you. Okay, so right off the bat, if you just take a quick glance, nothing looks majorly different. Like I said, this is a lot of little changes, but nothing major. But uh, let me start going through them. So first off, uh, you can't really see unless you look over here where it used to be. I did get rid of the two butt kickers that I had and sold them to a friend of mine. Um, the motion sim has vibrational motion to it as well. Actually so much that it um, it's actually harder and louder than the butt kicker. So I've really got that part tuned down. Um, so that's what I use. I don't need the butt kickers anymore. So I got rid of those. Um, the second thing um, are the wheel brackets for when I, my steering wheel storage uh, brackets. Here's one that's not being used right now. I got the a new aluminum kind. The ones I had before were carbon fiber, or not carbon fiber, sorry, um, 3D printed. And I broke like two or three of them just because as you can see where they're mounted, like this one right here, sometimes when I get out of my chair, or if I'm leaning over and not paying attention, I would just barely hit it with my foot. But just because of the weight of the wheel and the torque that hitting it in the right place would cause, they would just snap right off. So uh, one of the guys actually even printed me two more and or, uh, sent me a free one. But um, again, I broke <laughs> like one or two of those again. So I just uh, broke down and bought some aluminum uh, brackets. They're the same exact kind. So nothing major there, but a change. Uh, inside the CPU or the PC case, there's a lot new. So I had seen this for, you know, a year or so and was gonna try my hand at delitting my CPU just to run cooler, not really to try to overclock it any more than I already had at 5.1 gigahertz, but just wanted to try to keep it cool as long as possible so that it would, uh, so that the CPU would last as long as possible. However, something went wrong and I have no idea what. I'm pretty meticulous. I've watched lots of videos. I didn't make any mistakes as far as I could tell. Nothing stuck out that I did anything wrong, but the CPU just would not post when I put it back. I even put the old lid back on um, and still nothing. So I still have it. If anybody wants an 8900K that could be dead to try to revive it, uh, I will, I will give it to you. And then if you get it working, I would ask that you give me something for it. Uh, I don't know. We could work that out, but cheap. Uh, it is an 8900K, so it is a pretty good CPU still. Uh, highly overclockable. I had it at five gigahertz. So this one is, old. so I have a new CPU and I went ahead and got the 9900K. I didn't go all the way to the 1200s because that would be a new motherboard and new everything. So uh, I just, Basically, I got the highest CPU that this motherboard will run, which is a 9900K. So I replaced it with that. Um, and then just recently, this was months later, um, I did decide to go ahead and max out my RAM. Uh, so I now have 64 gigabytes of RAM because I'm gonna be getting back into flight sim and that uses a lot of RAM, even though iRacing does not. So I do need, or I wanted the more RAM for the larger terrains and uh, I'd like to do some dog fighting with multiple uh, online multi people uh, fighting so that they say that requires a lot of RAM so that's why I did that uh, that wasn't a, a huge uh, deal but then I started having problems with one of my SSDs and my boot SSD was only 250 gig and my data SSD was only 500 so I decided to go ahead and upgrade all of my hard drives including the two spinning hard drives that I had that were my backup and mirror to the backup, uh, one terabyte spinning hard drive. So I now have four one terabyte SSDs um, in there as well. So that's uh, that's about it for the uh, the inside. Uh, I did move remove a cup holder. I had an extra cup holder right behind the wheel there, uh, so that I could move that wheel a little further out of the way since I kept kicking it, knocking and breaking it off. So I removed that. Another minor thing. Um, you can see a new seat cushion that I put in just to, you know, comfort wise, not a big deal, but just something new that you may notice if you pay attention. Um, and I'm not sure if I highlighted this before, 
I looked on the video, the last video, and I didn't see. So this metal bracket under the uh, desktop box, the tower, is it's made to mount onto 8020, but I've never had a good way of doing it. Um, so I just, I bought a little cart. There's four wheels. It's just a frame, literally four bars and four wheels that I just put under that so that I can slide the PC box around to make it easier to get to and get around things if I need to. Um, it works fine, I like it, uh, but I th it might have been in the last video. At least I know it, it was sitting the, off the ground, but I don't think I had the actual cart with the wheels. So you can't really see it, but it's there. Um, but that was a new thing too as well, Not nothing major. Uh, I also may, bought a custom like piano dolly uh, not a custom, I bought a dolly and then I tore it apart and put it back together uh, to fit my rig so that I can easily, now that I have motion with those permanent feet, uh, it's not sitting on casters any longer. So I sometimes have to raise it up and get to things. And so um, I need to move it around sometimes. Like, and eventually they're coming to replace this window, so I'm going to have to move the entire thing. So I need a dolly so that I can roll the rig around. So you raise the legs, you raise the whole motion system, you put the dolly under it, then you lower the legs, um, and then it's sitting on the dolly. So it makes it easy to move around. So that's something, it's not, you don't see that here, but just another new thing. Um, and then the last thing, I replaced my Oculus uh, Rift S with a new... Quest 2. Uh, this is the Bobo VR uh, head strap. Uh, it has a, it uses these batteries, and I have an extra one that's in the charger right now. They just magnetically clamp right on, so you have uh, plenty of power. The, the head strap itself has a battery in it, and then two of those batteries. I could run for probably six, seven hours, so if I'm having people over and we're all playing stuff, plenty of time or also if I want to race with it wirelessly I can and have plenty of time because I do do endurance stuff where I'm on um, I'm not maybe actually driving for six straight hours but I will be on a team where we switch out driving and stuff so uh, that is a possibility um, uh, what else but I, I normally run with it connected with the uh, the link cable and I still get probably four and a half hours um it did bite me once recently i well it almost did i barely finished a race that i was doing before the battery died so it was very close <laughs> um so i think that's it guys like i said not nothing major structurally really that you'd notice but just a lot of little changes mostly inside the um the tower and it seems to be the way it goes seems like i'll do um you know, sim rig changes, and then uh, alternate in a year or so, do some upgrades to the PC, and then alternate back and forth. So this uh, update is more PC-based. Um, oh, I did put in a USB 3.0 card as well to handle um, more USB 3.0 uh, connections, and so that I could take a few things out of my hubs, not match, but a, a couple of things. Um, yeah, I think that's so. The only other change that has happened recently uh, to me personally is if you've watched any of my other posted videos, you may realize that I've been a Corvette owner in the past. Um, I don't think I have any videos of my newest Corvette, but I did in 2016 buy a or 2015 bought a 2016, which replaced my 2003. So, um, and that, yeah, so. But I never have done any track days in it, so I don't have any videos of it. Uh, so you may not have known I owned that one. But I recently sold it. Uh, just with COVID and me working from home mostly, I am just never drive it. It's paid for. It's sitting down there. I've probably put a thousand miles on it in two and a half years. So it's just not getting used and no sense in it just sitting there. Um, I hate getting rid of it, but I also realized I wasn't using it. Plus, I really don't think I'm going to do any more track days in person. Uh, I might go to some driving schools again uh, in the future just to get my fix if I wanted some real life driving with other people's cars instead of my own. 
uh, and not the headache of maintenance of brake pads and rotors and all that kind of stuff that come with tracking a car. So this is my replacement for track days. So you know, hundreds of cars, or over 100 cars, over 100 tracks, a um, couple of hundred if you count all the variations of the tracks, just with iRacing. That's not counting any other racing some programs that I've, I've had some of. I pretty much stick with iRacing, but you know, a set of Corsa, uh, Project Cars, R-Factor, all those you know, that you all guys all know. Anyway, so I did sell it with used car prices skyrocketing right now. I got a great price for it, so I'm happy uh, with what I got for it. So that's the only other big change going on with me motorsports-wise. Otherwise, um, everything's, other than these small changes. Oh, the last little thing I did get is I bought a little IR light and made a little custom mount to hang it above me. Um, the Oculus stuff has some complaints, and I get bit by it occasionally where it just loses tracking. So the IR light helps, um, you know, make sure it can see better. So that has seemed to have helped some, although I still get it occasionally. Um, and it really sucks when it happens during a race, but that's few and far between. A uh, small price to pay for the quality boost that I got with the Quest 2 over the Rift S. Uh, 120 frames per second. Um, now you don't get four and a half hours of use from the battery if you do it that high. I stick to 90, which is still an upgrade and the resolution is almost 4K at that. And I, yes, I get over four hours at that. So can't complain about anything. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll have a new list of all my updates to my rig and PC below. So if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks guys.